So, uh, Danielle, you're first. I think I've met a lot of you. Um, I just have to give you guys some background. In uh, the, At the end of May, I am getting married to um, someone from Ireland. So I'm supposed to move to Ireland at the end of May, and there's a whole visa process, process that goes along with that that has been um, a big pain in the butt. I've been struggling with having faith in my finances. So I've been on this kind of like faith journey in, in the finance department. And um, on last week, oh, well, I can't apply for my visa until April 8th, which is tomorrow, is the first day that I can apply. But we were actually going to have to put it off, and I was going to fly over after our wedding, and we were going to be there together for a month and then have to come back and stay here for three months away from my husband um, while I applied for the visa because we didn't have $3,000 extra that we found out that we would need to apply. So um, last week, I was just driving to work, and the, and the Lord was like, you're going to apply for your visa on April 8th. And I was like, okay, I don't have. It's going to cost like $6,500. And I was like, I barely have any of that. <laughs> To, to do this, Lord, and he was like, just trust me, you you want to trust me, you, you're you going on this faith journey for finances, just trust me, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it, so I just like prayed about it all day, and um, in the evening, I had to talk to my fiance and tell him, and he was just like, nope, I don't think so, we don't have money to do that, and he's like, I we can't do this, and we won't do this unless somebody walks up to me and gives me a check, so... <laughs> You know how the Lord is? The Lord told me right when he said that, he said, watch me. The next day, my fiance went to a pharmacy to get a Band-Aid. And the pharmacist saw him, and he was like, hey, I've heard that you are engaged. Tell me, you know, how are you going through the visa process? And um, Peter, he actually, like, broke down crying because he's been, like, so stressed about this. And the guy was like, he, like, sat him down. He was like, don't worry about it. I'm going to give you a check for 3,000 pounds, which is $4,000, which he gave them the next day. Yeah. Yeah. My, he, my fiance actually told um, people in church what had happened the next day, and more people came and handed him checks to pay for my, my visa to come there. And it was crazy because before that, I was actually questioning whether I heard from the Lord or not, which is so stupid. <laughs> but I, I wanted to trust that I do hear from the Lord. And that was just total confirmation, like more than the money, more than anything. It was just confirmation that I hear from the Lord mm -hmm. and that he is faithful. I thought I had to be faithful before he, before, like I would see, you know, him be faithful to me. And he, he laid it down first. And, and Peter had only met that pharmacist yeah, twice. Yeah, Peter had only met the pharmacist twice, and I've, I've never time. met him. And he just kindly gave us $4,000. Yay, Jesus. Wow, powerful.